Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasi. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, 2020 vision and uh, glaucoma. A lot of patients have this um, belief that uh, the fact that you have 2020 vision means that you cannot have glaucoma. It is absolutely not true. You can have 2020 vision and still have glaucoma. Glaucoma is a peripheral vision issue. So, your peripheral vision can be going down. Uh, so long as your central vision is still good, you can still have your 2020 vision. But the problem is, glaucoma is going to gradually, you're going to gradually lose your peripheral vision feed and the constraint, 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 until you get to the point where you find that you just have tunnel vision. You can only see like this. Anything you move this way, anything on this side, you won't see them. And that's why it's called tunnel vision. It's like you're looking through a tunnel. You can only see what's in that tunnel. Anything outside that area, you won't see it. I see this situation frequently in my clinic. The sad part is sometimes you have a patient that has a, that has a, a family history of glaucoma, and because they don't disclose, uh, discuss family health issues like among black people, uh, you find the next person, by the time the next person comes in, his or her uh, peripheral vision is way gone too. I always tell my patients, especially black people, because glaucoma is predominantly uh, found in black people, I said, if you have glaucoma, make sure let your family members know so they can all go get checked. It doesn't make sense that you are coming in late and your vision is, uh, most of your vision is gone, then your family member comes in tomorrow and they're already in the same shoes. It just does not make sense. What is the test that uh, doctors do for glaucoma? They check the pressure in your eye, which is intraocular pressure. They check your drainage system, the anterior chamber angle. They measure your cornea thickness, pachymetry. Uh, they check your cup to disc ratio, which is the back of the eye. Then the nerves. And what are the tests? The, uh, most times, a visual field test will go a long way in indicating if you have glaucoma or not. There's no pain involved in any of these tests that I just said. The doctor might have to dilate your pupils, put drops in your eye to make the pupil wider so they can see the back of your eyes. But all that does just makes your vision blurry for about uh, uh, two hours maximum and you're back driving. But again, even with dilation, uh, most doctors will give you like a, a, a temporary sunglasses that you can use to drive home. But even that, that vision will be still be blurry anyway. But it is very sad that you find a family with glaucoma and uh, most times they are coming in at end stage. And that's because of the failure for them to disclose, disclose that information to their family members. Most patients tell you, oh, I can see from here to uh, 1,000 kilometers away. So there's no way I can have glaucoma. But by the time you tell them, Broad or cyst, you have glaucoma. They're staring at you. How is it possible? I can see very far. Yes, your central, you can see very far because your central vision is good. Glaucoma is a peripheral issue problem. It's a peripheral field. The only condition that um, will make your vision go down almost immediately and you'll be able to notice it is macular degeneration or anything that affects the central, cent your central vision. Other than that, Things that come from peripheral vision, you can have it and you won't know that you have glaucoma. Your kids can even have it. And that's why it's important to always go to your eye doctor for your eye examination. At least once every two years. Even if you can't afford every year. Once every two years. For you, for the family, it is very important. And it's even, it's even more important if you have a family history of glaucoma. Most patients will tell you, my whole family, there's nobody with glaucoma. If your, patient, if your family members are like you that are coming for your eyes and sure once in every five years or even ten years, how are they going to also know if they have glaucoma or not? And if it's a family where uh, health issues are not discussed, how, how are they going to tell you? Most of us black people like to, uh, we have pride. So we don't disclose things that are negative about ourselves. In respect of how close you think you are to us. And it's a big problem. So I think we all need to let, take a cue from this and understand that um, family health issues should be discussed with your family members. 
So that way people can take um, preventive measures instead of coming in for kill. One person can be uh, down, but it doesn't mean that everybody in that family should be down with glaucoma. Pressure can be high without glaucoma. Pressure can be low, and you see I have glaucoma. I'm talking about the pressure in the eye. There are so many factors that you cannot uh, say, oh, I, 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 I thought, or because of this and that, I thought I, I couldn't have it. No. You don't measure your pressure, the pressure in your eye at home. You don't measure the corneal thickness at home. You don't have access to checking your cup to this ratio at home. You don't know how your nerves are doing. And this is why the doctor, your eye doctor, should be the one to guide you through this. And even if they discover that you have glaucoma or the diagnosis with glaucoma, the earlier the treatment is implemented, the better it is. Because you can still conserve whatever nerve uh, damage that has been done. You can prevent it from getting worse. You cannot recover the nerve that has been damaged. Obviously, because it's a nerve issue. But you can stop it from getting worse. And that's why earlier diagnosis is better your prognosis. Really baffles me when I see cases of glaucoma and patients are coming in uh, at the very at the eleventh hour. It just does not make sense. We can prevent these things if we diagnose at the early stage. And how do we prevent it? Just a regular eye examination. Most times your doctor will diagnose at the earliest stage. So please, let's um, forget this, I have 20-20 vision, I cannot have glaucoma. It just, that's not the way it works. So I hope um, uh, every one of us understands now that how far you see does not, is not a factor in whether you have glaucoma or not. Or whether you can develop glaucoma. So share the video. If you have any comments, leave them for me in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Glaucoma is a silent thief. Let, don't let it steal your vision. Thank you.